Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our morning inspiration. Saturday, April 6, 2024. I pray that we are in good health this morning. I pray that we had a good night's rest and a good week. And as we come to the end of another week, I pray that the Lord will continue to pour his blessing on us. Indeed, it's a privilege to be alive because we went through this week not knowing what would have been the outcome. But God has spared our lives and we are here now in this moment. And may we lift our hearts and our voice and give him thanks. Our reading today continue in the chapter of Job. We are at verse 11 and we will read up until 13. It says, Now when Job's three friends heard of all this evil that was come upon him, they came everyone from his own place, Heliphaz the Tamanite, and Bildad the Shuahite, and Zophar the Nahamanite. For they had made an appointment together to come to mourn with him and to comfort him. And when they lift up and when they lifted up their eyes afar off and knew him not, they lifted up their voice and wept, and they rent everyone his mantle and sprinkled dust upon their heads towards heaven. So they sat down with him upon the ground seven days and seven nights, and none speak a word unto him, for they saw that his grief was very great. Amen. What a sight. I can just visualize it in my mind's eye. The state that Job is in. To the point where his friends can't even recognize him. His body was completely covered with sores and boils. He was at his lowest. And that is what the devil will do to you. He will bring you down to the guttermost. He will wreck you. But he can't destroy you. If God doesn't give him permission. But he can reap havoc in your life. To the point where you almost seem unrecognizable by others. But you know I am so grateful for these three friends. They heard of Job's situation and they planned together to come and see him. And when they came and saw the state that Job was in, they were so hurt, they were so sad, they started to cry. The scripture said that they wept and they tore their mantles, poured dust up on their heads. They were so sad for him. But the reading continued by saying that they had not words to comfort him. And so all they could find the strength to do was to just sit down with him for seven days and night. And I say amen to that. Why do I say amen? It's good when you have good friends. And that's what Job had here. His friends... They saw that he was in pain, that he was suffering. And they came to comfort him. That's what they came to do, to comfort him. And in the same way, when we have friends who we can depend on, friends who love us, friends who care about us, family who love and care about us, we won't have to go through our trials alone. Because they will help us to carry a burden. Even if they can't physically help us. Because these friends, they couldn't do any, anything for him physically. They couldn't do anything for him. But emotionally, they were there. They were there to give strength and to give support and to give comfort. But I tell you this. That tangible gift cannot be compared to the emotional aspect of support or our supportiveness that we give to others. 
Yes, sometimes they may, may need the tangible stuff, but the intangible stuff are much weightier than we give them credit for. And so, some of us, when our friends and our families are going through a situation, we keep away because we tell ourselves that we can't do anything for them or we don't know what to say to them. Who said that you have to say something? Just being there. Job friend, they didn't say anything. They sat down with him for seven days. And maybe that's all you need to do. Sit down with your friend for a moment. Just let them know that you're there. You don't have to speak a word. And so that is why we must surround ourselves with good people. People who love us. People who care about us. Because when the going get tough, we can be sure that these folks will be there. But aside from those folks, there's one person that we can count on to always be there even when no one else will and that is God. So, if you don't have any friends, you have a friend in Jesus and I say amen. So, may we not keep to ourselves when we are going through trials but may, may we turn to Jesus. He said that come to me all who are weary and heavy laden and what i will give you rest so we have rest in jesus so if you are going through something right now i pray that the spirit of god will just come over you and will just comfort you and give you peace i pray that the spirit of god will remind you that you have a friend in jesus I pray that the Spirit of God will transform your life. I pray that the Spirit of God will just lead you into the path of His righteousness. Because when you are covered under the blood of God, you are okay. Amen. So may God continue to bless and keep you. And may His face continue to shine upon you and give you peace. Amen.